Good morning. It's uh, July 29th. Uh, what is that? Quarter or 20 minutes till 11 local time. I was up several times. Pat and I were up at, I don't know, 7 o'clock this morning. It was raining and nasty. The wind was blowing. I was up earlier than that because the wind started blowing, blowing hard. I think I was up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I started seeing my tent bag blow across the field. It was about to go in the river. And and uh, the wind was blowing so hard it was collapsing my tent on me. And then when Pat and I both woke up at 7, it was raining and blowing like that. It's been a nasty, ugly morning. But the wind has calmed down a bit. And, uh, and the rain has stopped, at least for now. The sky is pretty overcast. We're camped next to a river up in uh, Dead Horse, Alaska. We're way, way up here. The, it does not get dark. Uh, the sun does go below the horizon this time of year, but uh, it doesn't get dark. Um, during the summer equinox, the sun doesn't even, it doesn't set. It's just up. I think, I'm not sure about this, but I think this is as far as we can go north in the United States, you know, without being on a plane or something like that. Uh, there's a river. I'm thinking about jumping in it this morning. Oh yeah, well... Yesterday we passed a sign that said next service is 240 miles. Well, our bikes only go about 200, 220 miles max on a full tank of fuel, so we really, really took it easy. We went 60 miles an hour the whole way. And, uh, <clears throat> after 250 something miles, we pulled into town. Pat was shaking his bike back and forth to get whatever remaining gas there was into the into the tube to go to the carburetors. He was really on empty. And I was really super close, though my bike wasn't showing signs of it. But we made it. Now we got to do the same thing in the opposite direction. And there's one stop we want to make on the way, so that, that's going to be tricky. We'll see how that goes. Wildlife has been a little uh, uh, sparse. Uh, we haven't seen, at least in Alaska, we haven't seen any bear. We haven't seen all the all the animals that we saw down in Canada. But we did see uh, a herd of muskox yesterday. And I don't know if you all know what muskox are, but they're kind of like a cross between a buffalo and a water buffalo with long hair on them. They look kind of prehistoric. I did take some still shots of them. Anyway, we'll turn this thing back on if I decide to jump in that river or not. We are definitely in the Arctic Circle. They wouldn't let us go to the Arctic... Uh, I shouldn't say they wouldn't let us go to the ocean, but there's no po there's no way to get there by road. At least by open road. There is a, a road through the oil complex that will take you there. But you have to pay $40 a head, get on a bus, go through passport crap, and, and give them a 24-hour notice. And we just don't have that kind of time. And, uh, and it's a tour thing, so it's like, will I be able to swim in the Arctic Ocean then? No. So, we're going to 
maybe check out this river maybe jump in this river it it goes to the Arctic Ocean anyway huh that means I got to get out of my tent <laughs> oh, let's go to the river Water is super duper clear. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see that. Very clear. back in my tent where it's warm seeing that I'm half naked here. Oh. Okay. Anyway, signing off for now. Bye. Well, due to the wind chill factor, the lack of sun <laughs> the lack of warmth and the fact that we have to roll down the road today uh, I guess I'm not going to get in that river I do have a desire to though but oh well maybe the next time Who's gonna rob a bank? It's the man who knows how to stay comfortable.